bestie? Oh, uh, nothing really. I just, uh... I just wanted to come over and see how you were doing. Yeah, I know I haven't been over in a while. I mean, I was over a couple of days ago, but... It feels like it was such a long time. Is that weird? Well, uh... Also, um, Mr. Eraserhead had to go out for a little bit, so he told me to come over here. Because he didn't want me to be by myself. Oh, uh, Shinso's out on a, um... I think he called it a date. Um, well... <laughs> I don't know, but... What is a date? Someone you really care about? Hmm. Like... Like Lemillion does? Well... He has someone that he goes... To see, and... Well... He says that they go out on dates and stuff. I don't really know, though, because... <laughs> they say I'm too young to understand it. People that love each other? <laughs> well, it seems that Jinso and Mr. Lamillion both have people that they care about. That's good, right? <laughs> yeah. Um, Bestie. When I get older, you think I'll have someone like that? Really? Y you think so? Oh, um, okay. You're sure? As long as you don't mind, bestie. <laughs> yeah. I mean, it's always great spending time with you, bestie. And sometimes I want to learn some things. I know that I can't learn everything, but... doing a, a lot better. Yeah, I actually can uh, start to read um, words on uh, b uh, books with, without pictures. Yeah, it's a, uh, it, it, it's cool. Um, like this one. Um, Mr. Uh, Eraserhead gave it to me, and I've a uh, been, uh, s s slowly reading it. I haven't gotten that far at all. But, I'm trying. Yeah. Okay. Um, um, it, it goes like, uh, like this. Um, just once, I saw an actual shooting star. It wasn't on a camping trip under the stars, but from my bedroom window. This w wouldn't be such a rare thing to those who live in places with clear skies or that are pr pr pro properly properly dark at night but my home of 
fourteen years. Kawagoe in Saitama Prefecture. That's a big word. Mr. Eraserhead had to help me with that one. Was neither neither of those things even on a clear night you could only see the brightest of stars with the n naked eye but one mid winter n night I just so happened to gl glance out of the window and caught a glimpse of a mom mom momen mo momentary 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 brill Brilliance? Did I say that right? Brilliance falling vertically through a starless night, sky pale with the light of the city. I was in fourth or fifth grade at the time um and in my in in no in innocent oh innocent youth youth is that how you say that bestie okay i decided to make a wish only to squander it on the most p pointless thing imaginable. I wish the next monster would drop a rare item. I was in the mid of grind gr grinding gr grinding for a l l level up in my fa 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 favorite m m o r p g at the time I saw another shooting star of the same color and speed. Three or per, per, perhaps four years later. But this was not with the, uh, the naked naked eye and it did not flash ag 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 uh, ag again against against the gray night sky it never it happened within the murky depths of a labyrinth. Th that's really all I've gotten to so far, but did you like it? <laughs> Yay! I'm glad you liked it, Bestie. I, uh, I wanted to make sure that it was a good story. But I'll get there slowly. I think. Okay. Oh! Fern looks hungry. 
we should feed her. 